Blockers is a film that when you hear the premise of the film, I feel like you can pretty much figure out exactly what's going to happen almost beat for beat in this film. It's a comedy that hits every note that would be expected of it and just doesn't really do anything that's surprising or shocking, even though it's trying really hard to be surprising and shocking. I think probably the biggest drawback to this film is it does feel like a film that was written two years ago and then had to go through the process of being made. And throughout the time that it was being made, they tried to pepper in little references to more modern day stuff so that it could seem like it's relevant. There's just lots of things here or there that just don't seem to add up to me in a way. Like there's a scene in the beginning where we go through a montage of these girls growing up and then they're graduating in 2018. However, one of the big events that they have is, and they seem, I don't know, teenager age? That's kind of how I saw it in my memory. That's how I remember it. But they go to a Jonas Brothers concert that they're super excited for. And that leaves me a little confused because I feel, felt like these girls weren't necessarily in that age range where they'd be going to a Jonas Brothers concert at that age because they would have been 13 when the Jonas Brothers broke up. And they didn't seem much younger than 13, but maybe I was reading it wrong. Also, thank you, Blockers, for making me look up when did the Jonas Brothers break up as a band. And that's really the worst thing that you could say about this film is that it's just so predictable and just goes to all of the classic comedy jokes that you would expect from this premise of parents trying to make sure that their kids aren't going to have sex on prom night. Going to what is probably the better parts of the film, since I've talked so much about the down parts, is John Cena actually did a very good job. I look forward to seeing him in some other roles and movies that will be better, but I thought this was a pretty good standout performance for him. I know John Cena's been in some other films, but I actually haven't even seen those films to be honest so this is the first time for me seeing him and i was pleasantly surprised by how well he did it's very interesting to me to be seeing these wwe and just other wrestling uh actors uh actually doing quite well you know we've had the rock and we've had the um the man who plays drax the destroyer who's fantastic and i feel like john cena fits in that group very well of actors that are transitioning well from this wrestling world and transitioning into the film world really well and we know that the rock and that uh the guy who plays drax the destroyer can do drama pretty well so i'd like to see see if john cena can make that transition as well because i believe he's mostly been doing comedies and i'd like to see him in a serious role and give him the chance to really show his acting chops I think the film also did something else that was interesting, that they made the character who was definitely set up as the jerk and definitely is a jerk. Uh, they make him out to be the almost the better of the three in understanding his children and understanding children. I don't know whether that's uh, been done so much that it's a cliche or if it's a subversion, uh, but... It was interesting, at least, to throw that in to make it somewhat a little bit different. Um, I thought that was probably the most unique part about the story of the film. And once again, I would just say that my biggest disappointment with this film is that it just didn't feel like it took any chances. It felt like a paint-by-numbers comedy film that was just playing it really safe and making sure that, all right, we need to hit this beat and this beat and this beat and... Let's not go overboard and let's not push the envelope too much. We're going to do it just in the right ways. Nothing stood out. There were a couple of really funny jokes, but in general, it was just a sea of the same kind of jokes that you would see from The Hangover or any sort of raunchy comedy, except for this one was just kind of toned down a little bit. And I think that just leads to a confusion for me on what audience is this made for? It feels like this film is trying to appeal to young hit audience that's like just graduating that's in that range where they would be the same age as the the high schoolers in the movie but also the parents who it's like oh look at this and i feel like it just doesn't really do either of them particularly well once again that sort of outdated feel i think will turn off the younger people and i don't know i just felt like the humor was something that adults have already seen, to be honest. So it just didn't really do anything to be innovative, to really do its own message. 
It just feels like a film that was made years ago, and if it had been made immediately when it was made, then maybe it would have had more of an impact, but I feel like it's just not a film that aged well in its creation process. So there's nothing that I can inherently say is necessarily really awful about it, but there's nothing that I can necessarily praise as being really fantastic. And that disappoints me. I was really hoping that, you know, maybe this would be a film that would have uh, something really interesting and innovative to it. I wasn't expecting too much, but I was just hoping that there'd be something there that I'd be able to hold on to and be, you know, this is a really great message that you've got here. And I think some of the messages are good and uh, I don't know. It just feels to me in general like it's a film that was made too late. I know it's going to get praised for having some really good themes in it, but I don't think that those good themes should necessarily be rewarded with saying that this is a fantastic film, because I just don't really think. I think it could have been a fantastic film, and I just don't think that they pushed in the right areas, and they just played it safe. And that's not something that you say all the time about a raunchy comedy, but... It's the truth. It just felt really tame and really predictable and like it was trying to emulate every other single raunchy comedy out there, but just a slightly tamer version almost. So that's about all I can say about it. I don't particularly recommend it, uh, maybe to see it on Netflix with some friends, but uh, that's pretty much the only situation I could uh, ever imagine wanting to see it. Thanks for watching my review on Blockers. If you appreciated this review, then why don't you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can make sure to see the other videos I put up on here. And if you liked it, why don't you give this video a like, uh, comment down below what you thought of Blockers, and maybe even share this video on Facebook or Twitter or whatever social media platform you're using these days. I would really appreciate it. It would really help me in growing this channel and helping it to become a resource that helps lots of people decide where to spend their time and money on movies. And until the next review, I'll see you then.